from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your postnatal dumbbell strength one workout. So this workout is for anybody who is postnatal, whether you had your baby weeks ago, like I did, or even years ago. It doesn't matter. The one in the title is just that it's for people who are just getting back into exercise after having their babies. We'll be using one set of light to medium dumbbells. It's up to you. I'll be using fives, and we'll be working the entire body for strength and also getting your heart pumping for cardio. As always, please make sure that you have been cleared by your doctor for exercise before you do this or any other workouts. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to start with just a quick little warm up. The goal is just to get the blood flowing and getting our muscles moving. Whether you just had a baby a few months ago, like me, or you had your baby months or years ago, but you're just now getting back into exercise. Nice and slow. If it feels like too much for you, so 
keeping that core up and in and pulling up on that pelvic floor. So what I mean by that is that you're pulling in that deep core, pulling up, and we're going to talk about Kegels or Kegels. We've got some videos specifically on how to do that as well. Just making sure you're pulling everything in. Let's stay with those dumbbells and then let's do just a very basic bicep curl. So we're here. So watch me here, mamas. If you can, stand up nice and tall. If you feel like you're, you're arching a little bit or you feel it in your back, put one foot back. Just up and down. And if it starts to feel too heavy, just alternate one at a time. Or again, you can put those dumbbells down and just do the motion without the weight. Totally fine. Biceps actually, and the, these parts of our arms, get a pretty good workout when we have kids because we're always holding them, right? But it is important to do structure training with them because sometimes you get imbalances or aches and pains from holding those kids all day long, right? Last two. Relax, so drop those over to the side. Stretch it back here. And we're just going to get a quick little core interval and then a quick little cardio interval. So for our core, we're going to do belly breathing. So I have some videos that break it down a little bit more. But for us today, we're just going to do a big inhale, expand through your lungs and your ribcage. As you exhale, tilt everything in and pull up, just like we were just talking about. We won't do it very long. But think about tilting the hips towards the ribs. It's not sucking in and it's not pushing out. It's just expanding through. As you exhale, pull up and in. Two more. Feels like too much. Grab your boat, up, down, 
So we're gonna get another core move, another little cardio interval. So dumbbell here and here, small little lateral bend. So keeping everything tight, we're not going super far. All of our lateral movements are great for core, both during pregnancy and after, because we're strengthening those internal and external obliques. If you can get a little lower, that's great, but don't push it, especially if you know you have separation. Let's go four more. Four. while we're working the back of the arms, the triceps, 
is just going to force us to lengthen, stabilize in that core without putting a lot of extra pressure, and strengthen those triceps. Take your time. Let's go four more. Four, elbows in. Three. going to do a wood chop. This is our core exercise. So watch me here. I want you to turn knees and hips. So that makes sure that we don't twist too much in the torso if we have that separation. Knees and hips down to the side and then bring it up. So watch my knees and hips and toes down. Bring it up. If your weight is too heavy, keep it close to your body or do it without the weight completely. Throwing it, and working the core. One more. Twist. Half it out. Drop it down. Give your shoulders a little break. It's an arm exercise too, right? Especially after we just did those guys. I know. So same thing, other side. You can keep it long. You can keep it close. You can do it with no weight at all. Take your time. Here we go. Twist and twist. Whole body is moving. So even though we're working through the core, we're not twisting. So, three and up. Let's go four. Keep it close if you want. Three, two, one more. And relax. Drop that dumbbell down. Bend your knees to do it. And one last little cardio. And then we'll take it down for a couple things on the back. We're just going to tap it back. So, just nice and slow. Again, if you want a little extra and you want to take it to a little hop step, you can. If that's where your fitness level is, it's not mine right now. So tap it out. Breathe. Just tap. So we're going to take it down to the mat. We'll get a little sip of water after this. Do a few mat exercises, both slower and upper body, and then some safe core exercises as well. I'm gonna stretch four. Keep that core pulled in tight, but 
feels like too much with your dumbbells, just keep it here for four. Squeeze, three, two, one more, and relax. And go ahead and bring one leg in. Oh, <laughs> this is real life. That was a workout that I filmed right before this. I just fell off my camera. <laughs> Don't do what I just did and pop up. But get a little hamstring stretch. Sometimes you guys ask me if I do a lot of different takes when I film these videos. Obviously not, right? <laughs> I don't have time for that. We just gotta keep making them, so. Okay, <laughs> so let's stay here. Let's grab both of those dumbbells. Elbows are out wide. Core isn't tight. Just your upper body, it's your basic chest press. So we're not just working the chest, we're actually working a lot of triceps back in the arms and upper body, all through the upper body, and then also really engaging tight in that upper body. So just nice up and down, breathe. If this starts to feel like too much weight, again, you can just do the motion or you can just go straight up and down. Reach those hands forward. 
chest. And if you need more of a stretch, do have a postnatal stretch workout. Not workout, postnatal stretch. And breastfeeding stretching. So even if you're not breastfeeding, if you are just feeding the baby, you're going to be pulled forward. So those are really great uh, stretching. Okay, one leg out, just open it up as far as is comfortable. We're all pretty tight through here. And just breathe over the back. So reach if you can, don't stress about it. Just take a couple deep breaths. 